chapter 32 and verse 15. We'll just pray this song and then we'll be seated until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high and the wilderness be a fruitful field and a fruitful field be counted for a forest. Can you go ahead, take the next five minutes to pray this song. All of the graces that you heard them mention, turn it into prayer. Go ahead. Let it rest on me indeed. The power to prosper. Your wisdom. The power for signs and wonders. Someone is praying. The grace called favor. Someone pray until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. When the grace is upon of your life, it speaks instantly and loudly. Someone is crying for the power to prosper, the antidote for lack, want, begging, borrowing. Are you praying? The power for the supernatural, commanding signs and wonders. for the grace called favor define your possibilities in this wicked selfish bedeviled wall let favor single you out turn you to a sign and a wonder for in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray I want you to listen to this before you sit down the ignorant believer will always remain a defeated believer being a believer notwithstanding the ignorant believer will always remain a defeated believer the ignorant believer will always remain a defeated believer. Hosea 4 and verse 6 says, My people, even though they are my people, they are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. The blessing that we have received in this Zoe life is accessed experientially by knowledge. So just because you have received the life of God does not mean you will have the experience of that life not without knowledge hallelujah we're still going to pray one more prayer please lay your hands on your head and cry for knowledge father what i need to know tonight as far as my walking in victory my excelling my prospering my walking in signs and wonders is concerned let it be released upon my life i am a receiver tonight go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. We'll sing that song one more time while you are praying.
Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 8. And God is able to make all grace. That means grace is dimensional. All grace to abound towards you. Why? That ye always having all sufficiency in all things, not some things, may abound unto every good work. It is impossible to abound unto every good work until these various dimensions of graces find expression in your life. For instance, if you are limited in wisdom, that alone will keep you defeated forever. If you lack favor, you will live a hard life that will plunge you into compromise and decadence. The advantage of these graces is that they empower the believer to become an expression of the glory of God indeed. I'm praying for you tonight that every grace that is missing in your life may tonight be the moment where you access it. I say it again, every dimension of grace that is missing that he that told it has not yet found expression in your life, may this be the night that you will access it in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please be seated. Good evening, everybody. Blessings to our global family. Let's get to work. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Hallelujah. We've been on 